you know, I just wanted to say for all these state employees that, you know, the federal government, including the United States Navy, they don't have a problem serving the state governments for anything, you know, so I wouldn't want to wonder why the state government would be so scared to hand over their their um, their totally and permanently incapacitated dependent. You know, why haven't they officially informed the Navy that I they have me? Because, you know, there's a chain of command for that, too. And I don't think they're following it because they would have come and got me by now. The Navy's not going to let me sit here with this gallbladder like it is. They don't do stuff like that. So I'm thinking, you know, then the, maybe the state's afraid to tell the Navy that they got, you know, that, hey, here's your, your person over here. We got a live one. Now, why would they do that unless they, yeah, because, you know, they... They did a physical of me in in Washington State because you know I had an accident with my eye, and they know what condition that they sent me home in. So you know when they see the condition I'm in now, I think they're going to be a little upset. That's probably why. You would think. Have a blessed day.